don't blink, it's your boy Yank. Welcome to another video, welcome to another show. Guys, doing well because I'm having a fantastic freaking day. Uh, today we're tasting gourmet like I know what you're saying. Inky, you tasted them before, and you tasted them in 60 seconds, which is true. The problem that I had when I tasted those was um, they were a sour cream uh, gourmet, which is a brand of chips. Gourmet? Somebody told me to how to pronounce it correctly. It's gourmet, dude. There's a T, not Y. Gourmet. If, if you want to argue with me, I'm going to sit in French, gourmet, right? Um, so, yeah, so like I said, um, when we tasted that, we had some gourmet, which was also um, sour cream and onion. And I feel, I honestly feel, that's my, again, that's my personal opinion, but I honestly feel like they kind of deserve their own spotlight. They kind of deserve um, to be on their own. It was constantly, I was watching back that video and I was constantly saying, Oh, sour cream and jalapeno, sour cream and jalapeno. No, dude. For, hey. I have the, the tendency, okay, so, um, I think we've been tasting a lot of product, right, lately. I have a tendency to compare. And I feel that by comparing and not being kind of fair, I mean, for example, if I was to check out, um, if I was to do, like, like, a channel trailer for a movie, if I was to trade, do a channel trailer for myself, for my channel, my YouTube channel, let me make it easier for you guys. If I was um, promoting a movie, I wouldn't say, oh yeah, that movie is as good as this one, or hey, this movie makes me think of this one, or hey, this movie is heavily influenced. No, it's its own thing. And I feel like even if it's only food, um, I feel like it needs to be something that is done uh, properly. But again, what, I do, what do I know? We are proud to bring you a great potato chip. A potato chip that has the crunchiness and taste you love, we carefully select fresh potatoes, then thinly slice and gently cook them until crisp. Finally, we season them to enhance the real potato taste. Treat yourself or share with friends. Enjoy. Now, uh, I, I, fact, I fucked up. Give me a quick second. Because to me, gourmet, gourmet chips seem kind of new. Gourmet chips. Are they? They're kind of new, right? There you go. They don't tell you a lot. They don't tell you a lot. Um, gourmet chips story, I guess. Because I wanted to check out that out for the last video that I didn't. Okay, so the girl, perfect. Let's go. Look at that. This is fantastic. The Julie K website, and I love that. I do love this because again, um, I'll be, I'll be quite honest. When I. Um, I feel bad saying this. But when I look at this, my first thought isn't, wow, what a quality chip, or wow, what a fucking, um, like, brand. For example, if you look at Lay's, everybody know Lay's, but if you look at these, nobody know Gourmet. So I was kind of wondering what was the story, and we had a website, and our website is amazing. I'll be, I'll be, again, I'll be annoying, but I really, really, really enjoy um, and again, when I taste something, right, I always talk about the brand, I always talk about the way that the, the bag look, right, and I always think, talk about uh, how there is a description, we have a description, but if you look at others, oh, I receive a new voicemail, who gives a shit, from Kudo, this is somebody that I blocked, that I keep calling, I'm not gonna answer, <laughs> um, so yeah, so focus, Inky. Um, if you look at other brand, if you look at other flavor from the same brand with the same description, so I'm not gonna do it. Now, place like this don't just get created. They come from a vision, a dream, and a lot of passion. Niala and her team are dedicated and love what they do. If you ever meet her, you can feel it for yourself. The government chip company started with a dream of wildly inspired flavor and handmade chip in 2011 when we opened the door to a one-of-a-kind cafe in Asheville, um, NC, which is... What is NC? North Columbia, maybe? NC. I was thinking about New York City, of course. North Carolina. Uh, <laughs> with hopes to create a snack for pe for people who are excited about flavor and handcrafted food, we ended up creating something even more special, a place emerged by comforting each other's and revolving music playlists with local and tourists alike. You don't feel the mold that's what you expect from a chip company found in a mountain town. And we love that. And I would love that. I love that too, Nala. Uh, my apologies. Again, um, is Nala a, a somebody 
exquisite looking is it uh i'll be honest you know how to cook you know how to make good ch good chips i'm already undressed and waiting for you you know so the high problem opening that lately not sure as to why but now that i don't know it's and cook when i think about and cook chip i'm thinking about missing Again, I started this video saying we're not gonna compare to chips, so this is gourmet chip, just had a video. As good as I remember. Wow. They're unbelievable. Wow. They're just so fucking good. Oh my god. You guys definitely get this. Please get this. Mmm. Wow. See? The absolute treasure here is three things. First of all, the chip. Get the the quality potato. And it's kettle cook. So it gives you more crunchiness. The jalapeno taste. I said it once, I said it twice, I said it a thousand fucking times. Yesterday we had some chicken wings. And they were jalapeno and lime. And over the best best fucking wings that I had. Jalapeno is my favorite. I often say it's one of the best. It is my favorite. You don't like it, good for you. I love it. <clears throat> good. <coughs> with, <coughs> with an important upgrade and uh, the tower. Jalapeno sauce is so tasty. And again, they're arguing. Again, sometimes there's chips that are so salty. That's all you taste is salt. I'm not gonna name brands, but there's a lot of them. With this, the chip in itself is sweet. So you gotta, you have some sweetness, and you have jalapeno. Mmm. It is so good. Phenomenal. Wow. Mmm. I'm just insanely good. Anywho. Mm. Love you guys, peace. Whew. But it's spicy too. A little kick. I'm not sure if I'm... Um... It's, it's a, a nice kind of kick. Having like a nice spiciness. Holy shit. Oh, there's an ant and a spider on my wall. I'm about to, to brawl down. My money's on spider. Um, for the spider man. Yeah, so focus and keep. The, the, the spiciness is a nice kick. It's not so much, it's not enough for you to be like, holy shit, this is spicy. You still feel it. And, you know, I. I, I it feels like I'm making a, a big story, but this is such a good chip, and I've been craving a good chip. You know, you guys know me by now. You guys know me as a content creator, but as a person too, and you know my taste, right? Which is weird. But, you know, I'm not so much of a spicy guy. I don't like spices a lot. But with this one, I feel like, I feel like understanding that jalapeno is a spicy pepper, right? Understanding that is understanding that well if I have a chip that is jalapeno spicy, it should be spicy. Now understanding that it should be spicy, there's still a way not to be too spicy. The a little spice is good. And um, it is quite nice. The the kick is not so much, but it's still there to remind you, hey, you're hitting a jalapeno chip. And I love it. So yeah, again, love you guys, peace.